Hello Galaxy of Heroes. So, Rebel Roundup, uh, the first of the Assault Battles to give us the Challenge Tier 3. Um, so, uh, here's a couple of attempts. I think the WAI on the thumbnail kind of gives the game away. Um, so, I consider myself to be in a, a pretty good guild i'm in one of the moors i'm in the normally i'm in the number five guild um gp wise currently i'm vacationing in the number one guild and um gave some feedback on tried a few different comps out here um on the tier three my findings were that the the only one that did anything i.e the only the only comp where any of my bounty hunters actually moved um as you can see so bosky's relic seven django is relic seven uh they're all relict the rest of them are kind of two relic two or three um here's the second round or second attempt uh, both of these are under the boss lead. So the only one, I did try it under an Aura Sing lead. Um, the only one that did anything was under an Embo lead. Now what, my Embo is gear 12, no Zetas. So apparently what I'm hearing is, is that you need a Relic 7 Embo. Well basically you need Relic 7 Bounty Hunters, Relic 7 Embo, double Zetas and if you're lucky that might get you through to phase eight no guarantee you'll complete phase eight but it might get you there so um i haven't done the math on it but just going by the conversations i've seen uh effectively the bits that you're getting um will well you'll you'll reap the the investments back in possibly a couple of years to try and complete that tier so speculation is is something's coming so we're either getting another marquee event uh bounty hunter who will uh, blow this lot away can't see that happening or mod changes advances maybe they'll open up the six series of mods or maybe even um, a level cap raise maybe we'll go to level 90 or something uh, i would imagine that five five raise levels once you get there would probably do it but i don't know it's pure speculation so this is the one that's playing while i've been waffling this is the tier two challenge. This is the only way that I can do it. My Mando is roughly 60 shards away from seven starring. I, I must admit, I'm excited to get my Mando up and running at relic level. Um, I'm sure he's fantastic. I mean, I've had lots of fun already with, with uh, a six star Mando and a four star Grief. Grief's like 200 shards away from 7 star at the moment. Um, hashtag, those shards don't drop much. <laughs> those nodes don't drop many shards. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand it. Uh, you know, we all know that there's going to be a requirement coming soon, that they're available, we can farm them. So basically, you know, like slot machines, turn the payout down to as low as is possible um in the hope that we will refresh up to 1600 crystals a day blow through loads and loads of crystals to eventually get them up and ready and then find out that they're woefully inept even at what they are um when we get there <laughs> sorry that sounds sounds ever so slightly pessimistic or realistic whichever way you want to call it um this is speeded up <clears throat> so I'm flitting around. So we're now back. This is the tier two challenge. Uh, this is speeded up. It also makes me wonder, this this took me 22 minutes. Now, I've got to be honest, I am one of those players that 
I won't just use the abilities when I've got one or two tunes left. And, uh, sorry, just sidebar. How annoying are these scarifs that they manage to survive on one single bloody red dot for ages and then get a green dot just before you kill them? So you've got to do it all over again. Um, I just don't understand how they are so resilient on a single red dot. It takes nothing to get them down to one red dot and everything to get rid of them at one red dot. I don't quite understand that. Do they get some sort of superpower at all on a single red dot? Answers on a postcard to what the hell is the super... Yeah, no, I can't even call it out so whatever i'll stop waffling and moaning about that but it, it's just is it really necessary 22 minutes this took as i say uh i was trying to preserve or get get my cool downs up and ready uh this node here i try and get rid of sabine as fast as possible i just don't want the armor shred um just in case things turn south um this is the tier two one so they're gonna hit hard enough um you know Bosky's kind of perma stunned courtesy of their uh, their Zeb, but I just, as I say, I try and get rid of Sabine first just to get rid of that armor shred. Um, Ezra is just an annoying bugger when he's not on your side, so get him gone as well whenever can. And then it's try and get rid of Zeb and the days that he brings to the party, and and you know, I mean, they're all zated and everything, aren't they, at this level? So yeah yeah and it's like um, yeah I, I suppose the other side the other thing about this of course is this is five bounty hunters against six phoenix it's the full scene it's the full phoenix compliment i mean all they really got to do now is throw in fulcrum when they decide finally you know what let's make her part of phoenix or or give her a rebel tag or, or something i don't know give her something that actually <laughs> validates her being in game maybe you know um i don't know that's another salty thing but it's weird it's weird maybe we need to wait until she appears in in an animation or a movie carrying someone on her back and then we'll get her in there with uh i don't know soko fulcrum with uh, chill time travel and and carry snips on her back and then we'll get a double snips which will be totally op maybe that's what we'll get and then she'll have synergy with night sisters and phoenix and galactic republic and be all all on omnipotent i don't know i am just waffling for the sake of waffling apparently so uh yeah so coming back to my point which is this is tier two i managed to get through this in 22 minutes which does actually terrify me in regards to if it's 22 minutes for tier two how bloody long is it going to be for tier three you know i know we said that we're lacking in content but just making things that difficult that you spend you know 45 minutes to achieve something is, is unrealistic you know i mean how many players actually get that opportunity you know we're looking for kind of like 10 maybe 15 minute windows it, normally occasionally you can dedicate a bit longer to it but this is an assault battle this is not GAC this is not territory wars this is a single event and there's eight of them the other request is is if we can do tier one and tier two and even mythic why the hell can we not just auto or sim the rest of it why do we have to go through everything else which let's face it if you can do tier one, tier two, and mythic, you can do all the the lead ups to it. You don't need to spend additional time. Well, about anyone else, invariably, what I end end up doing is once I've got the tier the tiers that I can do, i.e., one and two, sort it out. I go and do the mythic just for the two omegas, and then after that, it's choose a comp slap it on auto come back to it when it's finished do the next put it on auto come back when it's finished because <sighs> there is no challenge there we've already done the challenge in the i'm repeating myself i know but in the mythic and tier one two and for anyone who is a super duper 
Kraken extraordinaire who can manage to do the tier three, then hats off to you, mate. But I'm sure even you find that it's a little bit of a chore having to do the rest because you have to, if you want what m most of us have, do for shard shop currency. That's why we're doing it. Or maybe that's the idea. You know, put us off of doing it. Make us do these you know three tiers here that that's an a good hour spent almost you know if you factor in that you can do tier three tier two tier one and the mythic and then you think you know what i'll just spin the rest because um yeah i just don't have the time now i need to do my arena payout i've got to do my tws and so on and so forth please just, uh, what i'm asking for here is, is you know some some kind of genuine realistic out you know outlooks on time spent in game and the rewards for that time spent um as i say if you can do the tears then please please just give us a sim and we'll just take the rewards you know we can do it because if we do the higher levels we can obviously do the lower levels no okay um so that's me on my high horse and no i don't think i am on my high horse i'm kind of i may be asking in, in a bad tone or or poor choice of language but you know the sentiment is there i'm just asking you know quality of life if we can just sim the crap and leave us you know leave us the hard challenges yeah i i don't mind you know Tears one to three and mythic, leave them that we cannot auto sim them. Well, sorry, leave, obviously, if you can auto it, auto it. Um, but the rest of them, just give us a sim, you know, just, just, just do that. Quality of life, please. Um, so last round, uh, I've, I've kind of straight changed my strat. Basically, I just try and bear down as much as possible. On Fulcrum Ahsoka Tano, I want to give her as many buffs so that she basically kills herself uh, as quickly as possible because she does a ton of damage. Ton of damage. You just do not want her unloading that can of whoop ass on your tunes because she does damage. Um, yeah. That's what we all need. One of those ones. Not one that kind of, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to go into that. But <clears throat> in actual fact, at the end of this, I was pleasantly surprised. So as I say, uh, Bosk is Relic 7. Django is Relic 7. They both have double Zetas. Um, that is it for Zetas on this team. There's no Zeta on Boba. There's no Zeta on, J on Dengar or on Zam. Um, uh, I just can't really... I, I, I can't see the value that I'm going to get from applying those, whereas the, the other two, um, in actual fact. Right, this is the end of this round. Here's the proof. Told you, tier two. So, this is actually not speeded up whatsoever. So, this is tier one. So, Aura Singh, I believe, is... She's either Relic 1 or 2. I've got a sneaky suspicion that she's Relic 1. Django and Dengo and Bosk, as we've already established, are Relic 7. Uh, Dengar is Relic 2. I think my Boba might be Relic 3. Can't remember. But, oh my day. This is such a... I run variations of this, uh, oh, I have done in Grand Arena Championships where I've actually been able to sneak in my uh, my Gear 11 Mando and Grief. Uh, Mando currently, uh, as established, is 6 star, Grief is 4 star. They've got one Z to each at the moment. Um, that will change as and when they go to 7 star and I'm, I'm able to do some more with them um, but for the moment yeah and this event these assault battles do actually state the star levels required for each of them but oh my days i know it's tier one compared to tier two but this comp is so much fun 
it really is this actually gave me so much enjoyment all the thing um, okay she was introduced to the, the game as um, a, what was it a phase three heroic sith um, maybe that was kind of like her main thing. Slap both daters onto her and she can do some damage and get you up to like 9, 10 million or something in, in that thing. Of course, that was completely then obliterated by the introduction of newer things, uh, especially in the Merc, the SLK himself, Kylo Ren. Um, of course now people just solo the entire raid but uh, with the uh, so uh, as i say i i've only used her with a four star grief and a, a six star manco and it is fun it's most enjoyable and this is something that i am uh, you know, one of the reasons why I mean, other than the fact that, of course, you know, in Pokemon, you got to collect them all and you want them all made and stuff, blah, blah, blah. But, oh my God, this lot hit so hard. And we've already established that they're not, you know, okay, two of them are maxed at the moment. Two of my bounty hunters are maxed. Um, so there's loads of scope for improvement here. But, you know, and, and the difference, 22 minutes to get through. But then I didn't try the Aura Uh To be perfectly honest, I don't think I would have succeeded with that. Because although you get a certain amount of health and protection back, as you see, they're, they're getting stuff back as they go through. Health and protection in the start. I just didn't know whether to survive the first wave. Um of the tier two uh, maybe i'll try that next time round. but <laughs> and uh, just uh, sorry this this is the aura scene fan club at the moment i even dropped my beloved zam for her you'll notice that dengar is there is present but i just didn't have space for zam as well um, zam is a star uh, what well, she enables me at the moment to complete the tier two until i've got a um I use the word loosely a better bounty hunter because um, she's still still to me one of the best tunes in game and she's got some absolutely brilliant kit they haven't messed about with it I almost really saw that they haven't messed about with it at all um, but it, it does what it says on the tin she drops thermals on everyone she can then add to those thermals then you've got if you're combining her with Dengar he drops thermals and then she pops up and then with the rifle she can take out virtually an entire squad in front of your eyes just by popping all those thermals so going back here we are on the last one as I say this is not oh no I lied this is slightly speeded up I did it was an eight minute run um but i was just looking at how long the entire video was i'm sorry i really should have picked up on the fact that there's some dotted lines at the bottom of my screen which tells me that i did speed it up not super fast but yeah it's my bad on that call however it doesn't take away the fact that this is a fun squad to run um, so there is the, uh, the tier one rewards. This one here, literally, as you can see, this one is not speeded up. This was just the mythic tier where I just had to run it again. It was too much fun not to. And big bada boom, big bada boom. And, uh, or we can say yoink, shall we? I don't know. And then do the roar and you're gone. You just don't know it boom pop up the omegas thank you very much there we are and then finally i did throw it in right at the end um i've been banging on about them i've said that they're fun um again this is speeded up but this was the this is round one so there's you know um 
it, it took me, uh, as I say, going through hitting auto and then it's like, hang on a sec, I can actually use them. And uh, that's the thing, you know, you can try lower starred characters in things, but it's either piss easy, i.e. marquee events where, you know, let's face it, the difficulty is not in achieving maximum and unlocking the character. The difficulty is the fact that you unlock that character at three stars and the difficulty then is actually getting them all the way up to seven stars. That's what's going to cost you. You can buy the packs. Yeah. Five to 330 crystals. Yeah, read five to seven crystals on 95% of those drops. And then you'll see that the one or two people that get the 330 and you think, oh, maybe I will. No, you won't. You won't. You know, you're spending hundreds. If you want or need, must have that character seven star as soon as pos. You know, I've got to be honest. I, I'm just no longer in the position to be able to do that. The world has gone mad and I just cannot justify spending that much money on a game at this current time. But that's just me. I, I, you know, disposable income has to be reviewed far more carefully from now on. I mean, I'd go pick up the packs. Some of these packs are excellent. That twenty pound one, which I guess is twenty dollars, uh, brilliant. But that's it. That's my run. I've gone over time. I'm going to thank you very much for watching. Good luck with yours.